It is already shaping up to be another exciting and fruitful year in book publishing. So as we kick off 2023, I wanted to do a little overview of what genre trends we might expect to see this year. This might be especially interesting to you if you are a writer with a current work in progress and you potentially want to query literary agents this year because it is always helpful to know what agents are especially hungry for as they dive into their query inboxes. So for this video, I wanted to explore what genre trends agents and publishing professionals were buzzing about online at the start of the year. I did a similar video last year where I highlighted the top book trends for 2022, which I know a lot of you liked. So I wanted to do it again this year, but this time I did take a bit of a more data-driven approach. What I did is I pulled all of the tweets with the hashtag MSWL, which stands for Manuscript Wishlist, from the period December 1st, when agents started to talk about what they want to see in their inboxes in the new year, to January 10th, which is when I pulled all of the data. Then I analyzed which phrases and words were being used most often in the tweets. And I'm going to share the top five genres that we saw mentioned in these tweets in the video today. So one little thing to note here is that sometimes writers will use the MSWL hashtag rather than literary agents or editors at publishing houses who are acquiring books to describe the work in progress that they have. So there is going to be some of that mixed in, but predominantly that hashtag is used by literary agents and editors at publishing houses. So I feel pretty confident that we can trust that these are the genres that are on people's minds at the start of this year. I'm also going to show you a word cloud of all of the most common words that I saw used under the MSWL hashtag. So make sure you watch all the way through to the end to see that because I'm only going to talk through the top five, but there are a lot more phrases and words that might be interesting for you to see. Also, the word cloud is going to give you a nice visual representation. Remember that this is purely informational and I am in no way advocating that you should only write in these genres or you should trash your project if you're not writing in these genres. This is just what I'm seeing on Twitter and information I wanted to bring to you. If you are currently working on a book and you're interested in the publishing industry, I recommend subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Every week, I either post a video with industry insights like this one, or I talk about tactical ways to strengthen your manuscript, and I would love to have you join this amazing community. It would be really helpful to me if you went ahead and hit that like button while you're at it, and go down into the description below to check out my free resource called my Story Self-Assessment Worksheet. I designed this for writers who are maybe stuck with their current draft and can't see what needs to be improved or what is working well in it. Downloading that resource is also going to sign you up for my free newsletter where I interview publishing industry insiders and published authors to get their insights and takes, which you won't find anywhere on my channel. So don't miss out on that. I also have the newsletter link in the description below if you wanna go straight to that. So let's dive in with the number one top trending genre for 2023, which is YA. And I saw 104 mentions of it in the manuscript wish list hashtag for the period that I mentioned. So to give you a little bit more color into what specific subgenres I saw agents mentioning, there were references to YA with a magical element, YA science fiction and fantasy, as well as agents looking for more representation in YA with LGBTQIA plus characters. Additionally, some agents were referencing that they love to see a retelling of a classic story from a YA perspective, whether that is something like Greek mythology or something more contemporary. So if you are writing YA, this might be a fruitful year for you because clearly this is a genre that more agents are interested in picking up. The next genre that's trending for 2023 is romance. So last year, one of the top trending genres I mentioned was rom-coms and rom-coms is actually number nine on the list this year. So that overarching genre of romance is still continuing to be popular. I saw several agents mentioning Emily in Paris, the rom-com Netflix series that has been really popular. And agents were also mentioning that they want sweet reads or swoon-worthy type reads when it comes to romance. Some agents are also looking on the flip side for romantic suspense novels. Additionally, as with YA, agents are looking especially for romance stories featuring LGBTQIA characters. The next top trending genre for 2023 
is fantasy, which had 63 mentions in the manuscript wishlist hashtag. Fantasy was on my list last year as well, and it is persisting into this new year as a popular genre. Now, this really spans adult, middle grade, and YA fantasy. I would say I did see a few more agents leaning into middle grade and YA fantasy, but there were definitely also agents seeking adult fantasy. There were mentions of looking for fantasy romance specifically. So if your story has that romantic subplot, that could be really intriguing this year. Some agents were mentioning they'd like to see magic, and witches in their fantasy projects. Additionally, agents are especially interested in fantasy settings that are non-European based or non-Western based. The fourth top trending genre for 2023 is horror, which had 49 mentions in the manuscript wishlist hashtag. Horror seems to still be on the rise. I mentioned it in my 2022 video as one of the surprises for the year as a genre that agents were really seeking out, and that seems to be continuing this year. There's clearly an overall resurgence in interest in horror. Now, when it comes to horror, we are seeing specific interest in adult horror. And agents were mentioning being interested in supernatural and ghost stories. Some are looking for more light horror, which I interpret to mean less focus on gore and violence. Some agents referenced being particularly interested in survivalist or isolation type stories, meaning characters that are locked up somewhere and have to fight to live. The last trending genre for 2023 is middle grade, which had 38 mentions in the manuscript wishlist hashtag search. Now, from what I'm seeing, agents are especially interested in middle grade stories that have a strong voice, a strong main character, and feature kids from diverse backgrounds. I saw references to agents being interested in both contemporary middle grade as well as fantasy middle grade. Overall, with middle grade, what agents were emphasizing is that they want the stories to have a strong overarching theme or message. So if you are writing middle grade, make sure that that comes through strongly, no matter what type of subgenre you're working in. So now I want to show you the word cloud of all of the top phrases and genre categories that came up in my search. In the word cloud, you're gonna see some additional genres that didn't make it to the top five list, like thrillers and mysteries, for instance, continue to be big. You're also going to see some descriptive words that speak to the types of characters or the types of stories that agents want to see including neurodiverse, indigenous, and black. Some of these words also give insight into the type of tone that agents are looking for. You'll see words like dark, joyful, and immersive that can speak to those more qualitative elements of your story. I hope you found this video interesting and that I gave you some insight into some genre trends we might see in 2023. Let me know in the comments if you are writing in one of these top genres, and if you are not, I want to emphasize, don't worry, just because I listed these as the top genres absolutely does not mean that your book cannot get published or you cannot get a literary agent in a different genre. And go ahead and still let me know what you're working on in the comments. I would love to hear all about it. If you're interested in improving your writing practice in 2023, I recommend checking out my video on the essential books on writing that I recommend all authors to read. And if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button if you found this video interesting. It would really help me out Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join this amazing community. And don't forget the links to my free story self-assessment worksheet and my newsletter in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and happy writing.